All right, what's good, y'all? Welcome back to Hand and Roll. So today I want to go over the most likely users of Genjutsu that we will get for the next defense type DLC. Now, as you guys know, the most recent letter for the, from the developers stated that the next DLC character will be a defense type. And they give us a little hint as to who it might be by saying that they use Genjutsu to defend their comrades. Now, I have a list of pretty much all the prevalent Genjutsu users here. And we're gonna make a tier list on who I think is most likely to come to the game. Now, this is not gonna be who I want as the most likely Genjutsu user. I'm just gonna try and guess who it's actually going to be, okay? So with that being said, let's start with the first honorable mention, which is Gengetsu. Now, Gengetsu has a clam, you know, that he uses Genjutsu, but I think he's just super niche to the point where they won't put him in. The next honorable mention I have is to Yuya. Now to Yuya, I feel like she would bring some cool uh, Genjutsu to the game, sound based. However, again, similar to Gengetsu, she's pretty niche and not a, a major villain in the whole Naruto scheme of things. So now that we've got the honorable mentions out of the way, let's go into my top five. So coming in at number five and you guys, may or may not like this but i have itachi coming in at number five now i've seen a lot of people post about itachi on the reddit and i have to agree that a lot of their um a lot of their reasonings make sense right itachi is the best genjutsu user that we've seen from this series and there's still some genjutsu that hasn't been explored especially the demon um genjutsu moves that he uses like the ones that he used on Irochimaru. he also doesn't have any yadamir stuff which i think is the biggest reason why as a defense type itachi makes sense because of that yadamir bro blocking everything and then of course he defends his comrades with genjutsu now do i see itachi coming as like the most likely no that's why he's down here at number five so Coming in number five, a very popular character. I know we don't want to see uh, a three-peat, but we have Itachi. Now, number four, who do I have as number four? Well, I have Sage Mode Kabuto. That's right. Sage Mode Kabuto coming in as the defense type for um, the Genjutsu users. So the reason why I have Kabuto here is because we only have one version of Kabuto and he was a major villain inside of the war arc, right? He was the one that brought back all of the reanimated Shinobi. So they could play on something like that where he summons maybe even to Yuya. He did do that, um, do that sort of thing when he fought against Itachi and Sasuke. He summoned the old Sound 4's moveset inside of him because he got their cells. Plus he has that um, that super bright light Genjutsu that he used against Itachi and um, Sasuke. And then of course, just a bunch of dragon sage mode things that he could bring to the table. So even though he is kind of an ugly character with the thing coming out of his belly, this the sage Kabuto that we got inside of the game had the base Kabuto moveset. So it would be actually pretty cool to see some of the actual, you know, sage moveset that he could, uh, bring to Shinobu Strikers and so I think he's a pretty good choice here at number four. Okay, number three. Number three, I have Sage Mo Jiraiya. Now I feel like Jiraiya would be a little bit higher just because he is a very, very popular. I think he, outside of Itachi, he's the most popular on this list. That's not um, Sasuke or Kakashi. I feel like um, Jiraiya is very popular. We only have one version of him and uh, the version that we have is, you know, very basic season one moveset. So Sage Mode Jiraiya, even though he has one Genjutsu, which is the Toad Song from not actual Jiraiya, but his his uh, summonings, I think that could be a very powerful Genjutsu to defend an area. Plus he has some Sage Mode moves that, you know, could be pretty cool, like a massive Rasengan as a base ninjutsu instead of a secret technique. That would be pretty cool. Um, you know, um, he could do like the uh, the toad um, thing where he summons the toad's mouth, the thing that he used on um, Itachi and 
uh, Kisame. He turned the entire area into a toad's mouth. That'd be cool to see if he could do that to control it. To control an area inside like a base or a flag there's some stuff that we could see with um sage jiraiya so i have him here at number three now number two out of kakashi kurenai obito sasuke it's uh shisui um hashirama tobirama madara and donzo who do i have as the number two well for the runner-up i have Kurenai, yes, Kurenai. And the reason why Kurenai is so high up, even though she's a niche character, and I typically would have her a lot lower than this. Um, the reason why I have Kurenai number two is because, yes, Storm Connections has a Kurenai DLC. And because they can take a lot of assets that is used in that game and bring it over to this game, because there is a lot of shared assets between the two games. I feel like Kurenai has a good chance of coming into Shinobi Striker. Now, is she very popular? Will she make a lot of sales, especially as a defense type, which is one of the less popular types? And as, um, you know, Kurenai herself? No, I don't think Kurenai is a good choice, but I feel like it is a likely choice because we have Kurenai in connections. Even though she's not a cool character, as far as cool standards are concerned, um, if they do her right, I feel like she could be a, a, a DLC similar to like Tamari, where Tamari, the character's not as popular, but has a fantastic moveset, you know? So I feel like Kurenai can fit in that same, um, same vein. But, uh, yeah, have Kurenai at number two. And a lot of you guys already know who my number one choice is, and it's not my number one choice. If I could choose to have somebody as the Genjutsu user, I would probably go with maybe i don't know <laughs> i'd probably go like sage Kabuto or something but the number one person that i have is donzo yes donzo now a lot of people are saying it can't be donzo because he doesn't defend his comrades donzo hasn't been known to defend comrades now i don't take that um that phrase or that translation quite literally i think it's talking about defending comrades inside the game not in the series they've always been kind of hit or miss when it comes to their hints that they've been saying especially when it like stuff like legacy or regeneration we have people like you know um, tamari or i don't know sasuke in the regeneration or legacy and they're just like what they don't really fit what they're talking about i feel like donzo kind of fits into that defend your comrades with genjutsu he was trying to defend the hidden leaf for his own self with genjutsu he has a bunch of Genjutsu. He just keeps using Izanagi in his eyes. He has Kororo Matsukami in his eyes. I feel like he could bring a lot of stuff to the game. So, of course, Izanagi um, as a secret technique or even like a... Um, well, Koro's kind of like... <laughs> Koro's already like taken from the Shisui, but I feel like he could do some sort of mini Koro like he did to... Um, I think it was uh, Aoi or was it Mifune? No, it was Mifune. Aoi caught him um, putting the Genju Genjutsu on Mifune. But yes, Danzo, um, I felt like he has some Genjutsu that he could bring to the table as well as a lot of win style moves that he could bring to defense types. That's the that's the only um, element that defense type is missing. So win style moves for defense type. Um, win style sh like Lace Shuriken would be cool as a ninja tool. Um, yeah, he has, he has some moves that he could bring to the game. So I have Donzo as the number one most likely person to, to come into the game. Um, we'll probably get his face paint, probably get his hairstyle. Uh, we already have his clothes, but we'll probably get like his younger outfit in the game. Um, and yeah, I think that's something that we can uh, expect to see um, in the upcoming week or so. So yeah, I don't think we're going to get a scan until next week um, sometime. But uh, look forward to that, and of course, I will be covering it. But with that being said, you guys drop down in the comment section below. Who do you guys think is the most likely person to come for the Genjutsu using defense type? We also got the SS Plus defense weapon dropping, as well as all the other stuff that come with the update. And of course, I will be there to cover everything and break it down for you guys. So appreciate you guys. See you guys in the next video. Peace.